Hey guys, it's Red Momster, and today I want to share with you guys something a little bit different. Now, this is something that my brother and I have been looking for for quite a while, so I was pretty happy to stumble upon it. But basically, in my last video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link in the description. A guy by the name of Lego Man 718 told me that uh, the newest Optifine version, the 1.88F3 version, allows you to basically go in 1.88 and use shaders uh, with like by completely bypassing the shaders mod completely. So now you can play in newer versions other than 1.8, meaning you can play on realms now, which is the thing that me and my brother are pretty excited about. So I'll hop over to realms and show you they can do that real quick. And this is his massive house. Yes, it took him years of work. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is his house right here on the realm server. As you can see, we're still in 1.88. Massive castle. He's built in survival, which I appreciate because I, he does a lot more survival than I do. Hit the lever, open the door. As you can see, looks very beautiful. Has a nice little panda at top with his skin. Uh, but that's all I really wanted to show you on the realm server at the moment. Just the show the fact that you can actually play on realms with the shaders so I'll go to the tutorial right now all right now I know my desktop is messy don't even question it okay it's very bad but I do appreciate being able to find stuff easily such as the things for this video right here basically we have the optifine download and then two separate shaders that are the same thing but basically medium and ultra so what you want to do is go to the internet actually you want to go to the description of the video and there'll be two links one to the optifine downloads and then one to Eddie's realism shaders now you can use any type of 1.8 shaders you'd like I just like using Eddie's shaders because it's better than Seuss in my opinion and it uh, has better FPS as well uh, but if you have a low-end computer I'd recommend finding a lagless shader instead you can go research that yourself if you'd like but essentially you have to scroll down all the way to version 3 and the yellow letters for some reason that say new and then click on Eddie Shazer's version 3 and it brings you to a media fire that essentially gives you three separate choices between low medium and ultra I have medium and ultra uh, because I like using ultra to walk around survival and stuff like that and then medium if I'm doing something that's redstone which is a little bit laggier uh, it saves my frames just a little bit but basically you just want to click on those but I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it and then you can close out of that after you download them and then you want to go to the Optifines page and then go to Optifine 1.88 HD UF3 and then hit the download button. Now it's important that it's F3 because this uh, 209.215 date is the day that they added the changes to the shaders options. So once you download this, uh, which I'm not going to do because I have it as well, you can minimize out of that and you will have these things right here. Now you have these two things for the shaders and then this thing right here for the Optifine. Now all you have to do for Optifine is double click on the little Java symbol and then it will pop up with if you want to install it and that is yes. So you install it and then it says you did it so you hit OK and now we have shaders. So essentially what we have to do now is go to percent app data percent or your dot minecraft folder if you want to do that and then as you can see I have a set of folders right here now I have a shaders pack folder but I didn't originally so you might not have it either uh, within these folders right here so what you want to do is you want to hit file new and then folder and then rename that folder shaders packs uh, shader packs and that will then be recognized by Optifine so you open up that shader packs folder after you've done it put in your shaders however many you have you can have so many if you want <laughs> uh, 42 huh and then you want to then close that and voila now you have shaders so we can load up minecraft real quick as you can see, we'll start you with a separate profile right here. I have 1.88 Optifine, so on and so forth, and I could choose between my other ones. So this is my previous one, which is just 1.8, which means I can't play in Realms, so I can go back to Optifine. And you can also rename it if you'd like by going to Edit Profile and Renaming. Uh, that way it doesn't say Optifine, it says your name. And then, of course, just hit Play, and we can go back to the game, and it may take a second or two. But as you can see, it's loading in quite nicely. We just have to wait for it. Go to single player, actually go to Realms, just because it will show that it works, <laughs> I guess, on 1.88 and wait for it to load for a minute and voila we are here <laughs> and as you can see at the bottom left it even says loading shaders in case you're confused but if you go ahead and hit options and then go to video settings and then shaders if i want to go down to medium all i have to do is click here and then hit done now if i wanted to change things like cloud shadows which i've turned off because they kind of laggy <laughs> and then render resolution if you want to change the resolution of the shadows if you want to save a little bit of fps or just make it look better there you can horsey say sub say goodbye to the subscribers if you want it, it's up to you all right, that's all I really have for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you're new here. Oh, no! Well, that was a lackluster. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.